Hello everyone, welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how you could select actors in the world by directly clicking on them. So if you remember, in a previous tutorial, you showed how you could select multiple actors in the world by dragging your mouse and selecting them. What we're going to show today is how you could directly select these actors by clicking on them. And if you click somewhere in somewhere else in the world, you would click off. So this is what we're going to show you today. Selecting actors and clicking off. In our tutorial project, let's open the third person character where we are selecting the controllers. And if you remember, on the left mouse button, we would start drawing the lines. And this basically sends a message via a blueprint interface that activates other events in the in the hot. So what we're going to do today is first of all, I'm just gonna tidy this up a little bit. So I'm going to copy this and move these nodes on the press a little bit further. Okay, so when we have a left mouse button pressed, what you want to first check is whether a ray trace coming out of the mouse is hitting any actors. So this is what we're gonna do first. We're gonna line trace by channel. And the start and end positions we want are going from the, the mouse button in the, in the world to wherever it's hitting. So what we can do is we can get player controller and we can convert the mouse location to world space. Convert mouse location to world space. So wherever you are pointing at in the world, that's where those vectors uh, represent. Uh, this would be the location and this is the direction that you're pointing at, starting from the camera. Right, now what we want to do is we want to uh, make a line trace going from where we are on the screen all the way forward until it, until the, the line trace hits something, an actor. So, we're gonna add vector to another vector and you want to take the direction now this world direction is a unit vector so we need to multiply this by an integer or a float and let's put a huge number so that it goes in enough depth until it hits something and then we can add these two together this would be our, our end point and the world location would be the start. So the line trace starts from where the mouse is, very close to the screen, and it propagates all the way forward until yep, it hits something. And we can, on return value, we're gonna, uh, sorry, out hit, we're gonna split the struct pane. Okay, so first thing we want to do is, I'm going to disconnect these nodes. I'm going to connect them later. First of all, we want to check whether it hits anything. So we do a little branch here. And if it does hit anything, then that's good. It means there's an actor that we are clicking on. But we may want to check the actors first because you may hit the train and that's not what you want to, to select. Okay, you, you, you want to select only specific actors in the world. In this case, it's gonna be the cubes. So I want to only be able to select these cubes. And if this is true, then I'm gonna check if the actors I have hit are those cubes. So what I can do is get class and make sure that it equals to the class of those cubes, which are called cube. 
and if this is true then I want to do whatever I want to do. Now in this case I'm not going to do anything complicated all I want to do is just highlight the cubes. So if it is true set highlight and this is a function that I have made uh, in a function library which I showed you the, the other time. All it does it basically puts those highlights around the, the actor. And if any of these are not true, we don't want to do this. Sorry, I have to check this one because I want to uh, put the highlights around the actor. And if it's not true, we want to turn off all the highlights. So if I click off, I want all the highlights to go off. So we get all actors of class and it's going to be class cube because we are only concerned about these cubes and for each loop on the actors we want to set this off. And what we can do is now connect back is draw lines. So if I do not hit anything in the world, anything interesting, in this case the cubes, then I'm going to be able to drag and select. Okay, hopefully this should work now. Okay, I forgot to connect this, this node here. So we, we want to turn the highlight on on that actor. Now before we had this drag and select function that we could use our, using our mouse. And now we can use our mouse to click on these actors and turn them on. And once we click off, they're clicked off. Okay. Uh, this is for today's tutorial. Next time I will be showing you how you could slide in a widget, a UI widget, when you click on any of these actors in the world. So I'm gonna show how you could animate UI widgets coming in and out of the screen. Thank you very much for watching. Have, have a great day. Bye bye.